Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service, the SVR, is one of the direct successors to the KGB, and that's probably why nobody believed the former director of the SVR, Sergei Lebedev, when he stated to the Russian news agency Interfax that the SVR doesn't have any reconnaissance and sabotage units in its directorates. On the other hand, the SVR does have a very secretive Spitsnaz team that allegedly deals with the much more defensive task of personal security, called Zaslon. Zaslon, meaning barrier or screen, is an SVR-controlled unit that specializes in security for the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This unit is very unusual in many respects, including their gear, weapons, and mission, not to mention their secrecy. In this video, we will examine a few distinct loadouts of the SVR's Zaslon bodyguard unit. Zaslon itself is recognizable among other units for their prolific use of Blackhawk high-performance fighting uniforms in all of drab with their internal turnkit system. Although much of their kit varies, this specific uniform has been consistently used and is a great way to identify the unit. Another great way to do that is through the more obvious Embassy of Russia patches that are prolific among Zaslan officers who are primarily attached to Russian embassies where there is war or unrest. This is not unlike similar American CIA teams that are attached to fellow US embassies. A third identifier for identifying Zaslan is the armor that they employ. Most recently, that would be the Gray Fort Technologies Goblet, or Hoplite, plate carrier. This carrier is usually only used by Zaslan and the Russian Army's KSSO Special Forces. It comes in several different variants, most prevalent being the slick version that can install a Molly placard for pouches. Although, one of our goblets was modded by its original owner to accept swift clips. The goblet contains a Gost 6A plate that is backed by soft armor. Moving on to the helmets. When Zaslan actually wears them, they typically go with a high-cut Classcom Tor helmet with black helmet covers. These helmets are rated BR1 for steel core 9x18 Makarov rounds. In practice, that's roughly NIJ3A. Zaslan does not typically use the arc rails. Something Zaslan does typically use, though, would be the modern 762 AK variants, the AK-103 and the Carbine AK-104. As Zaslan primarily works outside of Russia, it makes sense for this unit to stick to a more locally found ammo type. The drum mags, on the other hand, evade explanation, but are quite prevalent among officers. The drums might be substituting an actual machine gun. Zaslan's AK-104s are not always accessorized, but can be seen in typical Zeneco or Fab defense attire when the rifle isn't left in stock configuration. AK-74s and Vityaz submachine guns also make sporadic appearances, though I've never seen a Vityaz in use by the unit outside of training. Before we continue, I believe it is necessary to give a shout out to the people involved with this project, specifically Ahmed Hassan of Grey Dynamics, who teamed up with me to produce this video and its accompanying article. This video, as you've seen, primarily focuses on the gear and weapons of Zaslan, but if you want to know even more about the unit as well as some of its previous operations, check out this article in the pinned comment below. Hassan's work is probably very familiar to any enthusiasts watching, as he wrote an earlier article for SoftRep on Zaslan. His new article goes into even finer detail, and I helped a little. I would also like to thank the gear store GreyShop.ru for generously providing the ammo for this project at a time when ammo is particularly expensive. And finally, the airsoft accessory store Dasi for providing loadouts and acting as Zaslan in this video. The three distinct loadouts themselves, shown here, represent Zaslan officers from different periods. Baghdad 2013, Syria 2016, and the modern day. Rare, low-profile Defender armored vests in sand colors seen here are sometimes worn by Zaslan and those they escort. Even earlier in the decade, you could also find Zaslan officers in green Molly Defenders and more American-made green uniforms, this time by TrueSpec. Defenders have a pretty interesting plate and Kevlar system, if you're interested in seeing one ballistically tested, or the plates that are typically found in goblets tested, definitely subscribe, as a video that shows how these armor systems perform should be out on this channel sometime this month. As Zaslan ages, it becomes more well known, and the SVR no longer denies the existence of its special unit, though there are several articles that note the potential of Zaslan being used for 
sabotage, and espionage operations, in the last two decades, Zaslan hasn't yet breached its mandate of protecting Russian embassies and diplomatic personnel in dangerous areas abroad, at least as far as we know. Thank you for watching. In addition to the body armor, I'd also like to test Zaslan's helmet, among other extremely modern Russian helmets in use by their special forces. These helmets are quite expensive, and I would really appreciate a donation from you on coffee.com slash oxide in order to raise funds to acquire and ballistically test these helmets. Goodbye.